Do you need some impressive appetizers that don't require a lot of effort? I know I do. So we've got you covered with delicious edible Christmas trees. Sarah Juman, yes, it is here. She's so good. You're the charcuterie queen. So if we're celebrating right now or having people over, like it needs to be easy, am I right? Yes. You know, the holiday season is so wild. Yeah. You have so many invitations, people drop in. You just yeah. need easy, easy things to do that don't require an oven. Yes. Five minutes or less, yeah. 20 minutes or less, something just easy. I love that it doesn't require an oven. And so you do things very beautiful. And today you're focused on the Christmas tree. Yes. So right. we're going to do three different types of Christmas tree. Yeah. So we're going to start with a cheese Christmas tree. Okay. So here I have a cheese wedge. I am lazy, so I just bought the ones in the wedge. But you can cut your own cheese wedge out of yeah. or any other soft cheese. Yeah, we all know these. They throw them in the lunch with for, for the kids. Yeah. Right? So, um, so you unwrap them. You unwrap them. And then here I'm just going to show you quickly on the board what I'm going to do is I'm gonna add a little bit of spices. So I have dill, I have basil, I have thyme. I love dill. And of course you don't do it on your board, but. Just for the sake just of Just for the sake of TV. So I'm just gonna add some colorful things. And then I have one of the cheese unwrapped here. Okay. And then all you do is you take it and you dip it. Now we were we were saying because the cheese has been out in the under the lights, it gets a little bit soft. But you almost want it soft for this one. Yes, you I mean, want those spices to stick. Yes, and then you dip it on both sides, yeah. and then you add in a pretzel stick, and you have mini little Christmas trees. So look at all these. Look at how easy that is. Beautiful and delicious. Very nice. So that's our first tree, our second tree. So our second tree, we're gonna go healthy. Okay. We're gonna do a two in it. ingredient uh, vegetable one. Yeah. So here I have carrots. Mm -hmm. So you take your carrot, I've already peeled it, and then you cut off the ends, and okay. then you take your thick end, and you do about a half a centimeter, and then you take a star. Oh, I was excited to see how you made those stars. And then you really want to do it on the thick side of the carrot. Yeah. Why? Because you want to make sure that your star is actually covered with a carrot. So okay. then I have a little chopstick just to save myself to pop it out. Yeah. And then you have a cute little star. So just hold that for us so we can yeah. show. Sorry, I got to touch the carrot, but no one will eat this one. So you got this cute little perfect star. Where'd you get the little molds? You can get it from the dollar store, really. Nice. Yeah, very easy. That's always my favorite answer, by the way. So do a couple of stars. The dollar store. <laughs> do a couple of stars, and then afterwards, you want to cut some thick pieces of carrots, because okay. this is going to be our stem for the tree. The oh. reason you want to cut it thick is if it's too thin, it'll wobble. Got it. Okay. So then we set it's these aside. It's trees. Yes. Right? So then we have a cucumber, and yeah. then I have a vegetable slicer. So there's two different types of vegetable slicer. Yeah. The one we always see, and then this is a, um, a horizontal one. Yeah. So we're using the horizontal one. Got it. So we're going to just slice it long way. And the first couple pieces look like this, so we just want to discard it. Yeah. Put so them in the compost. We've been talking it, a lot about that. Or give it to your kids to eat or your oh, husband. Yes, or you eat know, it. eat it. Yeah. So then we're starting to get the thicker ones. So we're going to do two of these thicker ones. Nice. And then we're going to lay it side by side like that. And then we're going to pick it up. And then we're going to make a tree. So we're going to fold this it is the in, part the, I wanna see. in the shape of a tree. Ooh. There we go. So you go back, back and, and forth. And forth and back just and ribboning forth. it. Yeah. And then I have a cocktail pick. Yeah. Stick it through the middle. Those okay. picks are nice. They got a little, uh, a little, yeah, a little bejeweled. And then you stick it in here. And then what you want to do is you want to release the ribbons, just to form your tree. Oh, that's nice. And that's then... lovely. If you're doing this at home and you've got a bunch of people coming over and you've got the kids involved, obviously slap some gloves on those kids. <laughs> and then you stick your make star sure on. Make sure they wash those hands. And then you have a little Christmas tree. Beautiful. That is so nice. Okay, so we want to elevate this. Yeah. It looks super cute, but how do you serve are. it? How do you serve it? Okay, so I have a board. So we've all heard about, oops, sorry. That's we okay. heard about butter boards. That means it's a good party. <laughs> we heard about butter boards, yeah. cheese boards. So I have a dip. Okay. And I'm going to be putting on asparagus. And I'm just going to oh, be. Oh, it's even a healthy dip. It's a healthy dip. So what good. we want to do is we're kind of recreating snow here. Yeah. Just to make it, you know, it's the holiday season. Nice. And then we're going to put our trees on top, and then it's a dip and a serving all in one. So, so we don't have to be perfectly perfect, because I definitely want them to see the, uh, the the next showstopper one you have going on. So I'm just going to add a little bit of cheese. Is it snow? It's a snow. Bit of snow. 
You then, tell me where you want them, anywhere? You put it anywhere. Okay. And then we just add oh, it. Oh, look at our forest. It's a little forest that you can serve. A forest of trees. I love. What do you guys think of that? Isn't that beautiful? Very nice. Okay. Hey. Last but not least. Last like, but not least. Minute and a half left. So hey. we're gonna do one more tree. We're gonna start with some styrofoam. And what are we using for this one? So styrofoam. So we all eat a lot of cookies, candy. So let's we do, do something very healthy. So we're having strawberries. Nice. So with your strawberries, I want you to take it and soak it in vinegar water. This will help keep your strawberries last a little bit longer. Gets all the dirt off, and then you rinse it. Okay. So we have Beautiful. a styrofoam foam. Nobody wants to put food directly on styrofoam. Right. So my suggestion would be to take some lettuce and stick it in, and then we would put toothpicks. I'm gonna show them what that looks like. So you just get, you can get the lettuce and wash the lettuce, whereas, you know, washing the cone, you wouldn't do that. So yeah. um, go ahead and show us how you stick it in. Now so that we've seen it. we can, since we only have a minute and a half, I will leave that alone, but. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you would put the Wait lettuce the all one. the way around. Yes. And then you would take a toothpick and you would stick it in your cone. Yeah. And then you would stick your strawberry in. So very important, stick the toothpick in the cone first. Yeah. Otherwise, you're gonna have a lot of toothpick coming out of your strawberry. You don't want to just stick it in the strawberry. No, it's a lot easier. So what you would do is you would put the toothpicks all the way around and you continue with your strawberry. Okay. And when you are done, you will have the a creation that looks like this. That's beautiful. Now to finish it off. Yes. So you also filled in some of the gaps, didn't you? I filled in some of the gaps with some basil, nice. but also the leaves of the strawberries, if you leave it on, it helps fill in the gaps. I love that. And then just before you serve it, you just sprinkle it oh, it's with snowing. a little bit of icing sugar and it's snowing. That's beautiful. That is gorgeous. Thank you. So easy, so quick, but big impact. Sarah, beautiful job. Time for a break. See you on the other side. Stay with us.